everybody. Hey, I had a little accident on Thursday. On Thursday, my dogs got into a little thing and I broke my shoulder. I was in the hospital Thursday and Friday. They did surgery. They had to repair my sh shoulder with pins. But I'm hoping a full recovery in three to six months. We'll see how it goes. Not sure how many videos I can make. Not sure exactly what I can do, what I can't do, what I can do for Kenan, what I can't can I do for other people. But this is a couple stuff we brought back from the show here. This is the um, Heliconia Lobster Call Claw, which is such an amazing flower. It's probably the most spectacular of all flowers. These were those 40 tree ferns that I got, which are absolutely fantastic. That we're gonna plant, I think I said I'm gonna plant 10 of them in Kenan's yard. So Caesar, we have a whole bunch to do here. I know, this is a lot of plants. We're gonna get all this planted. I need to plant everything. Hey, something exciting happened before I got injured. I got a gift from a viewer. They gave me an adult female red-footed tortoise, but I got some curly endive here. I got some zucchini and I got some hibiscus flowers. So I'm just gonna chop all this up and I'm gonna go and feed the animals. Luckily, I can use my hand. This is like right after when I came home, I couldn't use this left hand. Now I can use the left hand a little bit. In this video, we started planting what I brought back from the landscape show. And then also Caesar planted a bunch of native wetland plants into the wetland pond. We're positively gonna have more animals in the next show. I just wanted to show you what we had got done before I got hurt. I just got back from the landscape show. I bought some plants for the Mediterranean garden. I bought 84 trees and I gotta figure out how to plant them. And one of the challenges I have is someone else picks the plants for me when I buy the entire booth. So I got to figure out how, how do I landscape using someone else's plants. A good thing about it is that I get to experience new plants that I normally may pass over. So I bought, I bought 84 plants total, but I got all this. We pulled out all the big palm trees. There's some smaller palm trees in here like this and like this. But what I have is I have a whole bunch of larger tropical trees, which I've never really landscaped with before. And I'm kind of excited to landscape with them. I think a lot of these have a little bit of a Mediterranean look to them. And some of these plants here are up to 20 feet tall. So Caesar here is working on irrigation, but it's been raining here every day. So I think right now we don't need the irrigation as long as it rains every day. But, um, that can change in a moment's notice. So what we could do, we put the palm trees here every 12 feet. As they get smaller, we'll come behind here, put some washies or some tall queens, and, and we'll, we'll step them back and we'll just go tall to short. It is over a quarter mile trail from where we unloaded the 18 wheeler to where we are installing these palm trees. And once we get the palm trees all strapped up, we gotta go over a quarter mile to where we wanna plant them.
Now, a challenge I have is I buy what's in the booth. It's a good thing, not just a bad thing, because it's going to expose me to new plants. Plants that I haven't worked with before, plants I've never seen before. It's kind of like Chop Kitchen, where you get the basket, you open it up, and what's in the basket, that's what you have. So we got here a couple of queen palms. We got a couple of medul palms down there. Medul, medul, medul palms. If I buy it, I should pronounce it right. Now I have purchased some native wetland plants for my native wetland pond, and I'm gonna have Caesar and Mike Mike install them. I went, I bought some native aquatic plants. So this right here is, we got a native blue flag iris. This is the Picroe, the Pontideria. This right here is the Sagittaria, or native duck potato, the Sagittaria latifolia. This right here is Peltendra. This is the Arrow Arum, another native plant. This is not a native plant. This right here is the Amazon sword. So almost everything is native. Okay, so what we're gonna do here, Caesar, I wanna plant, I got this here uh, so I don't fall in. Can we do one plant every foot? Do you like that, Caesar? Caesar, yeah. so what's your questions? No, my question says for this kind of plants, and then maybe in the past of the day it grows too big. And maybe some make a lot of mess. And that's not good for me. I don't know. I don't know you for the you see the Ponte area this coming big. And maybe there's some this block and maybe make a mess. So what do you want? You want no plants? No, that's good. Put plants for different kinds of plants. For the maybe the uh, you see the other one, what's the other one you told me he's supposed to put it here? That's a different name. Uh, Bacopa? Bacopa. Remember in the mean you go for winter garden? For 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 see for winter garden. Yeah. And close for the Disney and the gardens. This is the flower, yellow ones. Oh, the zinnia. Yeah, maybe that one. Yeah, I'll do some of that. I'll do some of that. We got we can't. Yeah, that, that, that one is a beautiful. You want to put the one place. We can. I can use the water zinnia. Uh -huh. I can use the bacopa. We can use some smaller stuff over here. Okay. But let's I want to get some more flowering stuff where we got a little more sun. We got the sun on the south. Uh -huh. So let's put the Sagittaria there. So I want to put the iris there. Can you put this here? The kind of door is there. I'm hoping that tray will come to here. Okay. If it doesn't come, it's okay. But here, start this here. Start leave, this like right here. You leave it the other space, yeah. Leave a space. Okay. Leave a space and have this one come to like right here. Okay? All right. So that'll be Iris. This will be the kind of Doris. Let's put this one right here. You got four trays. One, two, three. the five trays. One, right. two, three, four, five. Close the water. Yeah. Okay? All right. Okay. I'm so excited today. We're finally going to start putting some plants in these reptile enclosures. I got my friend Haley here from Blue Moon Nursery. She's going to help me. I'm working between this and I'm working with Caesar on the wildlife pond that we started. We're going to plant some marginal plants around the edges. Um, this is mostly going to be a Hoya. It's not going to be exclusively Hoyas, but we're going to use a lot of Hoya in here. We're going to put it in the nooks and crannies. We'll see how, we'll see how this comes out. 
like Tom said, we're going to exclusively, not exclusively, have Hoya, but things that are Hoya-like too, including the parallel peperomia here and then the beetle peperomia. Uh, those are very Hoya-like, but are not Hoya. And we're trying to figure out how we can add some color pop in there because you can see that most of the Hoya are going to be green and white variegated, some splash here, but we want to get some color. So this, I found some nice sort of oversized in a four inch pot. What I'm looking at here, not quite a blank slate because I already added this guy, is the fact that we have a lot of sloping ledges on this side. We've got a couple of flat ledges that'll hold the bigger pots, but on this side, we've got really sloping ledges that will be hard to set anything too big in. So our other eight inch pot basket of Hoya will really be the only thing we'll ledge here. So only in a couple of minutes, I planted in everything that we had pulled. And just as I expected, couldn't really put any of the big stuff over here. We have this more so on the ground. That was the biggest crevice that we have on this side. And then I kind of tossed the macro up at the top. When you get in here and you start working with the finer details, what's going to fit in what crevice, what is going to stay, what's going to fall down. Uh, that's why air plants are such wonderful elements to work with because they're really versatile, almost lightweight. Like if they don't stick in there, nothing's going to stick in there. We plant in top to bottom. And the reason we do that is the same reason why people clean top to bottom. Clean your house. You want to clean the ceiling fan because some stuff that's going to fall. We don't want to mess that anything up. So that's why we have a lot of the top stuff here planted in. Then we're going to worry about the bottom stuff. And then we're going to bring in soil and we're going to plant along the sides here. Well, so much for planting top to bottom. I'm tall and Haley. I'm going to add a bunch of stuff cascading over the top of this display. Hey guys, I want to show you how this works. So this right here, we grow everything at Holt Nurseries in these two inch pots. We have almost a thousand different varieties. And the secret to having all that is growing everything in a two inch pot. I can get thousands on a bench. So I take the two inch pot and I'm just going to press it into the universal rock like this. It's worth noting that when you're selecting plant material, things look good in threes. So I picked three of the strobilanthus. Uh, because we have so much green and so much variegation, I like to add different colors as little pops. And that guy is the Lizomachia aurea. We just got back from the landscape show and we won best booth, 10 feet by 20 feet. So you won best booth here. of this size? Right here, yeah. yeah. Get out of here. That's a plant show. That's the landscape show in Orlando, Florida. We won best booth. And there was no reptiles there. I want to do booths for reptiles. And I can't wait. I can't wait to get this going. I got six of these. I got six of these from Universal Rock. It's gonna take two, three months to grow in. It's not gonna grow in overnight, but we're gonna take all our varieties, all different, we're gonna do. So this one, this one, we had a little fun. We have a lot of Hoyas here, and we did some other stuff in the bottom. We got the Strobilanthus. We got some Peperonia. We have some Lizomachia. We have some Pilea aquamarine, and we got some baby tears, and we got some other material in here, just, just to balance the colors. But we're gonna use, we're gonna do one with ferns and moss. We're gonna do another one, different types of Pilea and Peperonia ground covers. 
Well, oh, we're gonna do one with all different types of pothos, and we're gonna do another with all different types of philodendrons. We will see you next week, and don't forget to like and subscribe.